So it looks like uh, Seaford is in the 2-3. Uh, Their goal here is to try to keep these guys on the outside, make them shoot outside jumpers. Looks like number three just now hit an outside jump shot for three points. That's going to be the game plan for Seaford throughout this game. They want to keep them on the outside, make them shoot jumpers, and over the course of the game, they're going to miss more than they make and will end up winning the game. Uh, we got Ty at the ball to the top to Coop. Coop back to Noah. Nice ball movement. Jaron got it, the big fella, shoots the three. Misses. Cummings get the ball. Now what they want to do is drive the ball. They want to penetrate. We got to keep them out the lane. Here's another open three. Okay, so that's two in a row now. So now the, the game plan, which is to make them shoot long shots, they're basically making them. So. This is going to be interesting how this thing develops over the course of the game. All right, Coop drives baseline back to Anoa. Uh, looks like uh, looks like Cummings in a 1-2-2. Uh, Ty having an awesome year this year. Hits the three-pointer from the right wing. Defense is back, 2-3. Uh, Cummings surveying the floor. They want to drive the ball if they can and try to bully. Great rebound by Jaron. Strong rebound. He pushes it hard. Goes hard to the rack. To the two. He should have got a foul on that if he actually was foul on that play. Now number one is actually the best player on the team. He comes up with a quick shot. We get the rebound. Jaron brings it up. Goes to Coop. He's a slasher. He goes in. He attacks. And because he attacks, he gets that call. As long as he makes his free throws, he can do this all day because he's a slasher. And by the way, Coop is having an awesome year this year as well. He's uh, coming in hard and uh, love, love his energy, you know, love his enthusiasm. It's actually infectious. He's been doing it the whole year. Made the first shot. Now what's interesting about Coop is they had a, a little tournament. I believe it was somewhere around Christmas, maybe the Chick-fil-A tournament down in South Carolina. He hurt his wrist, a little bit of scare. Looks like he's back full strength again. Second free throw. This is the second. Cummings secures the rebound. They're in like a 5-0 set or a 4-1 set. Another three. Excellent block by Locke. Lachlan Haddocks. Locke is my guy. Locke is the type of guy, he can play any position on the floor. But his specialty is the defense. So we got a nice block there. They got a chance to get the ball on the opposite side of that uh, inbound play. They got lucky on that. Trying to penetrate. Kick out for the three. Number two goes up. Excellent rebound by Lock. Strong rebound. Outlet to Noah. He pushes up to Coop. Coop slashes. Reverse layup for two. Coop. Cummins brings the ball back up. They back in that 4-1 uh, set again. They just pass the ball around the perimeter. He penetrates the zone. Throws it out off the backboard for two. The Cummings, they're in that one, two, one, one. Nice ball movement. They're hunting the middle. Keep your eye on all the flashers coming through the lane. Jaron's gonna go through. Tie for a three. Strong rebound by Cummings. Referee calls a foul. Cummings ball on the sideline. It's one team foul. It's one team foul per team. Cummings bring the ball back up, get it to the high post. They work the ball on the perimeter. Looked like number one was looking for a foul, didn't get it. Jaron rebounds the ball, brings it up, kicks it out to Noah. Looked like he may have walked on that. Yep, ref got him. Called him for a travel call. 
Cummings got the ball. They bringing it up against Northwest 2-3. It's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be a 4-1. They're gonna hunt. They're gonna hunt the high post. And they're gonna try to move the ball and drill a drive kick. That's what the whole offense is about. Move the ball in the perimeter. Flash guys through the post. So that was a drill drive penetration. Drill drive penetration. Pull Jaron out. A drop pass back for its flush. Got the ball again. They throw two guys to Jaron. Out to Haddix. He crosses him over. Looks to make a pass. They outlet the ball up. For Deuce. Two. Cummings up 12 8. 350 left in the ball in, in the first quarter. Noah brings the ball up against a 1 2 2. Let's see if they split it. All right, so we have like a 1 4 set against it. Coop slashes again. They knock the ball out. Still, Seifer's ball. Seifer's ball. Now, let's see if what play they're going to run. Then they have what we call Hawk. It's going to be a double screen. Jaron's going to come back and try to get a gimme. Looks like they know that play. They still got it to him. Jaron still goes up. Misses it. Noah gets the rebound. Goes up. I tell you one thing about Noah. He's short, but he's strong. And if he gets his body on you, it could be a problem. Now the one thing that uh, Cummins is doing really well right now is they're penetrating the zone. Number one tried to uh, go through. He wasn't able to get there. Noah three. Boom. I tell you, boy, Noah looked like he ready to play today. Got a strong rebound for a putback. It's a three from that corner. All right. Same deal. They got a 3-2 set now. They probably looking for a high low. So Locke got to be careful about that guy getting in front of him, sealing if the ball goes up to the high post. So the score is 13-12. Seifer's up. Looks like uh, he went right at Jaron. Noah gets another rebound. Pushes the ball up. Let's see what he got. This is when Noah's got to pass the ball. There you go, Noah. Swing it. Good. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Good. Ball out to Noah on the wing. I like the rope. I like the ball. I like to move it without the ball. Lock coming up to set a screen. We got two guys at the high post, one guy at the post. There it is again. Ty. I tell you, I was at practice yesterday with Coach Deride, and he spent at least five, six minutes working on three-point shots. And I tell you, that work has paid off. Right now, it looks like Cummins getting a little bit uh, impatient. So that time, the kid went above the rim. Goal 10. Noah does it again. That's a beautiful day. Time out. 148 left. Seaford up. 18 to 12. 30 second timeout by Cummins. It's going to be a good game. Now, the one thing that uh, Cummings is doing right now is they're getting a little impatient with offense. A little impatient. And the more we can make them take their time, the easier the game is going to be for us. Make them rush. If you make them take a quick rush shot, it plays to our bend. That may have been offensive foul. Again, Noah jumped up on him, and the kid didn't like that, so he threw an elbow. When he threw the elbow, the ref called him. He went ahead and called an uh, offensive foul. Again, Noah's strong. You no know, one likes Noah to be hanging up on him like that. That's why the guy threw the elbow. Again, we're still in the 1-2-2. Ball two, two. movement. Out to tie. Back to uh, Jaron. Three-point shot. Misses it. Rebound by number four. He brings it up. Outlets it out to number three. He walked with that ref. Good. Penetrate. Right. Good. I tell you, one of the things that Cummins is doing, he made a business decision. He walked on that ref. So, this was an interesting call here because they got an extra rebound. We were scrambling a little bit, and they kept attacking the rim. 
and because we were a little out of position, when he drove the ball, uh, Jaron came over to the defendant. He touched him a little bit. Ref calls a block foul on Jaron. All right, 56 seconds left, 18-14. Seifer still up by four points. Kids up at the free throw line, shoots, nails it. 18-15, Seifer, 56 seconds left. All right, so here we go. Ball movement on the perimeter. Noah Coop goes baseline. Good ball movement to Coop. Over the tie. Three-point shot. Misses it. It's 39 seconds left. Hopefully we don't foul him. Loose ball. Three-point shot. Cummings. Rebound by Jaron. 26 seconds left. Good. They're getting physical with Jaron. He looked like he mailed. Good. So it's 13 seconds. Cummings got the ball. He calls a foul on zero, which is tied. It's 10.8 seconds left. 10.8 seconds left. 18-15. Seifert, they take the ball out on the baseline. On the baseline. So this is when you got to watch that cross pass in the corner. That's where they like to get those threes. All right, it's 10 seconds. Now you know they're going to shoot. It's three seconds. That's two. Noah takes it in the end in three seconds. Beautiful play. Noah has had a great first quarter. Strong rebounds, made a three.